Okay, everybody. Uh, OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy here. And uh, what I want to show you right now in this video, something pretty cool. I think this is it will be a great example for you guys. What I am going to do is show you the difference between what syrupy, um, flowing vacuum tube sonic is like when someone says it sounds tubey. I'm going to compare that for you to fast, quick, articulate uh, latest class D gallium nitride using the field coils. Because the field coils are so responsive, I think we'll be able to pick this up very nice. So first of all, I'm going to play the vacuum tubes. And uh, this is a 300B based vacuum tube monoblocks, uh, Canary Audio M80s. And um, I, I want you to hear how like flowy and seductive and smooth. And it's like a uh, it's like you've got a river of honey flowing. Um, and what we're going to do is then we're going to put in the uh, gallium nitride and it should be like, uh, you know, ether, like a completely like much quicker, uh, more articulate sonic. So you can hear the difference between when people say to be sound and, and not to be or, or quick. OK, one 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 is going to be slow. One's going to be quick and you'll hear the difference. So let me start with the, the, the slow one, which will be the tube. And you'll hear what I mean. It's very rhythmic and flowing. And this is what is seductive about vacuum tubes and why people love the tubes so much is for this seductive, flowy type sound. So here we go. <laughs> So here we go now, um, comparing the latest amplifier technology, gallium nitride class D, got probably $1,000 worth of tubes in, e in each amp on the tube amps, compared to class D gallium nitride. And the monoblocks, the tube monoblocks are $10,000 a pair, and the gallium nitride, which you're going to hear now, $7,500 a pair. Gallium nitride is much lighter. Uh, the tubes will last forever. They don't wear out and uh, they don't get hot. So you can have kids around them or whatever. So let's listen to old school versus new school. Here comes new school. <laughs>
Okay, well, you just heard it. Um, anybody want to buy some tube amps? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm actually uh, blown away. Um, I'll tell you why. Because I thought the tube amps were going to have something redeeming that would make me say, well, they sound different and I really like them both and I'd like to keep the tube amps. Um, I've got to be honest and tell you, um, at least with these two amps, and I can try some others, but with these two amps, I would absolutely take the Class D over the two amps, and it, it sounds better. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but here in person, they sound cleaner, more clear, they're smoother on top, they're less pushed in the mid, uh, and they just... They just have a more enjoyable sound. And we're talking about Class D. Oh, my God. Everybody likes to poo-poo it. And vacuum tubes are so much better. And vinyl, so much better. But we're listening to streaming from a DAC going into Class D amps on the most intense, unobtainium-type, single-driver, purest hi-fi, tripped-out, two-channel speakers you could buy. Anybody that knows what Feastrex are knows what I'm talking about. Um, and everybody would say Feastrex needs tubes. And that's exactly what I thought coming into this. And I thought for shits and giggles, let's put in the Class D and see what happens. And listen to that. It's it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm not putting the tube amps back in. Class D has beat them out. The AGD is the victor in this case. And I will be using the AGD amps. Again, I sell these AGD amps, man. I knew it when I heard it, that they were awesome. And they just keep proving that time and time again when I put them up to the test. I'm not hearing things. You guys just heard it firsthand. So I'm going to go back to listening. But thanks for joining. See you.